as insurgents in conflict zones around the world use increasingly sophisticated weapons and munitions, the need for better armor not just for personnel, but for vehicles as well increases. This security concern is addressed by NATO's Science for Peace and Security program. We believe and there is a real threat that the militants in Afghanistan or the third world countries can really use, uh, really use armor-piercing ammunition. The biggest problem actually is uh, old ammunition uh, which should have been destroyed, in fact, but it's not. It's sold to, to some third countries and that is very difficult to trace. So actually you can't, cannot exclude that militants can get hold of some, some old ammunition, including armor-piercing bullets. With this threat in mind, a team of Czech, Slovak, Russian and Ukrainian scientists has developed thinner, lighter, transparent armor. NATO объединило всех сотрудников. Они так или иначе обязательно взаимодействовали между собой, потому что отчеты мы писали общие. Мы общались между собой то в Санкт-Петербурге, то в Харькове, то в, э, в Турнове, то в Братиславе. И вот эта кооперация и общение безусловно продвинуло проект. Working with the French glass manufacturing company Saint-Gobain, the scientists developed a new sapphire-based material, allowing armored windows to be 30 to 40 percent thinner and lighter than conventional protective glass. The special sapphire glass layer was produced at the Single Crystal Institute in Kharkiv in the east of the Ukraine. The institute is known for its expertise stemming from the Soviet era and is one of the few that have the ability to grow these large crystals in such a way as to increase its impact strength and dissipation ability. From the Ukraine, the sapphire is then delivered to the French glass manufacturing company Saint-Gobain in Turnov in the Czech Republic. Our job in, uh, in uh, manufacturing of lightweight uh, sapphire armor is to machine the sapphire. It means we will receive block of sapphire we can cut, uh, we can uh, grind, we, uh, we will polish the sapphire and with our colleagues from Saint-Gobain who will assemble uh, the sapphire, we will produce uh, the complete uh, armor. New small caliber armor-piercing ammunition is now so effective that the minimum thickness of glass able to withstand the multi-hit impact is as much as 120 millimeters. The extreme thickness and weight of the glass limits its use in vehicle windows and at the same time distorts the view. This new lightweight vehicle armor was tested at the shooting range in Slavicin in the Czech Republic, where the effectiveness of this new sapphire-based material against armor-piercing ammunition, including tungsten carbide bullets, was demonstrated. We prepared a layered armor concept containing sapphire, hard impact layer, uh, which is uh, lighter and thinner than uh, the armor concepts made of layered glass and which are used today. Compared with opaque ballistic materials, the area of transparent armors is at present significantly underdeveloped. Besides the obvious advantages of mobility of lighter windows, the reduced thickness also allows soldiers and security personnel to have a less distorted view. Well, the main difference is uh, that uh, if you have a layered glass armor, to defeat, for example, hardened steel armor piercing core uh, bullet or tungsten carbide bullet, then you, uh, you need a very thick layer, which is first very heavy, and it's really so thick that it obstructs the vision. Uh, so for us, uh, the, the main goal in the project was to prepare the, the solution or the, the layered concept, uh, which is first much thinner and much uh, lighter than the, the armor system we can use uh, or we, which were known up to, up to now. The new material will be used to make armored glass windows for military and security personnel vehicles. Owing to the successful demonstration, it earned a Stanag Level 3 protection certificate, currently the highest level of protection available for transparent ballistic materials. This certifies the armor offers sufficient protection from large caliber armor-piercing bullets, such as those used in sniper rifles.